Welcome to our latest video on coordination numbers and octet expansion. This video is suitable for A-level students. By the end of this video lesson, you should understand the meaning of the term coordination number and understand why period two compounds and complexes have a maximum coordination number of four. You should also be able to explain the meaning of the term octet expansion and understand that period three compounds and complexes can have a higher coordination number than four due to their ability to use d orbitals in their bonding. And finally, you should be able to explain why phosphorus can form the compounds PCL3 and PCL5 with chlorine, while nitrogen can only form NCL3. In a number of previous topics of both AS and A-level, we've come across the term coordination number. Now, the coordination number is the number of electron pairs which can surround a central atom. Sometimes it's referred to as the number of ligands that can surround a central atom. And in transition metals, we've often used the term coordination number to mean the number of coordinate bonds that form between ligands and a central metal atom. Now for elements in period two, lithium to neon, the maximum number of electron pairs which can surround a central atom is four. And this is due to the fact that these elements have only one 2s and three 2p orbitals to accommodate these electron pairs. Now examples of these four coordination species include BEF4 2 minus, CH4 and BH4 1 minus. Note that for period two, species with lower coordination numbers can also exist. For example, beryllium chloride, BeCl2, which has a coordination number of two. Now for period three elements, they can form compounds and complexes with much higher coordination numbers much higher than four. And this is due to the fact that they're able to use their 3d orbitals in bonding in addition to the 3s and 3p orbitals. Now the 3d orbitals are therefore able to accommodate these extra electron pairs. In period two, there are no 2d orbitals and therefore only four electron pairs can surround the central atom. Here we have one 3s orbital, three 3p orbitals, and five 3d orbitals. And this is why you can have much higher coordination numbers. Now this ability of period three elements in compounds and complexes to have higher coordination numbers is down to a concept called octet expansion. Now we've seen that the maximum number of outer shell electrons that can surround the atoms in period two is eight, four pairs of electrons, and this therefore limits the number of bonds that can be formed in the first member of each P block group, for example, boron to neon. Now boron forms three covalent bonds in compounds, which are classed as electron deficient. Now we've seen when studying group three that Compounds such as BF3 are described as being electron deficient because there's only three pairs of electrons surrounding the boron and it doesn't have its normal stable octet. Now carbon can form four covalent bonds. Nitrogen can form three covalent bonds and one lone pair. For example, NH3 has three covalent bonds and a lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen. Oxygen can form two covalent bonds and has two lone pairs on the oxygen. Now in these compounds and complexes, the coordination number is no greater than four because there's only four available orbitals for bonding. The outer shell in any period two element has a 2s orbital and three 2p orbitals. Now the other members of each P block group, period three onwards, have access to d orbitals that are not present in the second shell. There's no two d orbitals, but there are three d orbitals. There are four d orbitals. This allows them to expand their octet. Now expanding their octet means 
that these atoms can use their d orbitals to have more than eight electrons in their valence shell. And examples of compounds that have this are shown on this slide. PCl5, phosphorus forms five covalent bonds here and is able to expand its octet to do so. Now sulfur in SF6 has six covalent bonds because sulfur has been able to expand its octet. It's been able to have a share of more than eight electrons. And in this last example, Cl041 minus, chlorine forms seven covalent bonds. And this is once again down to chlorine, a period three element, being able to expand its octet by using its three d orbitals for bonding. So now let's look at an example of octet expansion in terms of group five halides. So let's start with nitrogen and NCl3. Now nitrogen has an electron arrangement of 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. So nitrogen has three unpaired 2p electrons and each of these can form a bond, but the 2s electrons cannot because they're paired. There is no 2d orbitals. So therefore, you can only have NCl3. There is no opportunity for nitrogen to expand its octet and have a share of more than eight electrons. Now, if we take phosphorus, Phosphorus has an electron arrangement of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. And phosphorus can show a valency of both 3 and 5. And this means that both PCl3 and PCl5 exists. So now let's look at this in a little more detail. So if we take PCl3... All that happens here is that the unpaired electrons in the 3p orbital can pair up with chlorine's electrons, and that's why it exists as PCl3. Now, for PCl5 to exist, phosphorus has to expand its octet, and it does this by promoting an electron from the 3s to the 3d orbital. And this means that there will be now five unpaired electrons that can form bonds to chlorine's electrons. And that's how PCl5 exists. Now it takes energy to promote an electron from the 3s to the 3d orbital. However, energy is given out when you form these two extra bonds and that more than compensates for the energy required to promote the electron to the 3d orbital. So now let's test your understanding of what we've learned in this lesson with some practice questions. Here's the first practice question. Read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So this first practice question says, explain why it is possible for elements in period three of the periodic table and beyond to have more than four electron pairs to surround the central atom, i.e. coordination numbers of more than four. This is a one mark question. Well, the answer to this is that they're able to expand their octet by using available 3D orbitals in their bonding. So here's our second practice question. Once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So question two says, examples of period three elements that form species with coordination numbers of greater than four are shown below. For each, write down the oxidation number of the central element and suggest a possible structure for the complex. Well, in SF6, the fluorine is a minus one oxidation state, so that's a total of minus six, because there's six fluorines here. So therefore, the oxidation state of sulfur must be plus six. 
For PCL5, the chlorine is minus 1. There's 5 of them, so that's a total of minus 5. So each phosphorus must be plus 5 oxidation state. And for aluminium, we have 6 fluorines, and the fluorine has an oxidation state of minus 1. And this is a total of minus 6. We have to cancel all of them but 3, because of 3 minus charge. So the oxidation state of aluminium is plus 3. So there's one mark for each correct oxidation state here. And there's one mark for each correct shape or structure of the complex. SF6 has an octahedral shape. PCL5 has a trigonal bipyramidal shape. And ALF6 3 minus also has an octahedral shape. One mark for each correct shape or structure. So here's our last practice question. Once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So question three says, explain why nitrogen can only form a chloride with eight outer shell electrons, but phosphorus can form a chloride with a different number of outer shell electrons. And it's a two mark question. And the question says you should give the chemical formulae of relevant compounds in your answer. So if you said nitrogen forms NCl3 and phosphorus forms PCl3 and PCl5, you get one mark. To get the second mark, you need to say that phosphorus is able to expand its octet, but nitrogen is not. You could also say for this second mark that phosphorus has available d orbitals, whilst there are none in the outer shell of nitrogen. If you said this, you get two marks. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now understand the meaning of the term coordination number and understand why period two compounds and complexes have a maximum coordination number of four. You should also be able to explain the meaning of the term octet expansion and understand that period three compounds and complexes can have a higher coordination number than four due to their ability to use d orbitals in their bonding. Finally, you should be able to explain why phosphorus can form the compounds PCl3 and PCl5 with chlorine, while nitrogen can only form NCl3. So that concludes this video lesson. So please check out our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry, which has lots of GCSE, AS and A-level videos and our Twitter site, at Radicemistry.